of drivers to try to throw some light on their intelligence, temperament and other personality factors. Interviewing techniques are also used to discover their attitudes to various aspects of the driving situation. To approach the problem of driving and accidents from a fresh angle, the method of systematic observation of driver behaviour has been developed at the Road Research Laboratory. To help with this work, 200 drivers came to the laboratory in their own cars. Each of these drivers was asked to drive in his usual manner round a predetermined route under normal traffic conditions. To obtain complete coverage of items of driver behaviour, he was accompanied by two observers, the front observer making notes on check sheets. After the drive was completed, all data from the check sheets was gathered together onto a drive analysis sheet, which gives, in figures, a description of the driver's behaviour with respect to his surroundings during the drive. Take just a few items of behaviour from two drivers driving under similar traffic conditions and for similar distances in a 30 miles per hour zone. Driver 1 averaged 29 miles per hour and overtook one vehicle. He gave seven signals, three left hand, two right hand, one to overtake the vehicle and one when slowing for a pedestrian crossing. He took no risks. Driver 2 averaged 38 miles per hour, overtook nine vehicles and gave ten signals, three left hand, two right hand and five to overtake. He took three risks during this journey. As you can see, these two drivers showed quite different patterns of behaviour as they drove. Now that this method of systematic observation of the driver had been developed, 500 more drivers came to help with this research. These drivers were selected in two groups, Group 1 and Group 2, and in such a manner that one group had had three times as many accidents as the other. This was Group 2, on the basis of differences in driver in the safe subgroup. Of the remaining 30%, 8% were fast and unpredictable in their driving behaviour. These are DAs. A further 18% drove slowly and carried out unusual manoeuvres. These are the DP drivers. Unusual manoeuvres are actions not called for by the situation, for instance, slowing at the appearance of oncoming traffic. The final 4% drove safely generally, but from time to time made false judgments of the situation. These are the I drivers. Now, in Group 2, which you will remember were the drivers responsible for three times the number of accidents found in Group 1, only 36% were safe drivers, roughly half of Group 1 S drivers. 20% were fast and unpredictable DAs. 32% slow with unusual manoeuvres, DPs and 12% made false judgments from time to time, the I subgroup. Results to date suggest that all drivers do fall into one of these four subgroups, S, DA, DP or I. As work continues on this research, some variation will be found in the subgroup distribution from sample to sample, but in general the relative proportions should remain approximately the same. Now how in fact do drivers 